We've got some incredible news for fans awaiting the Apple iPhone 9, and that's coming up right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe, followed by the bell. So it's a new week and this time we've got some great news for those awaiting the new iPhone 9. We've had a few more leaks come in along with news of a much earlier release than we expected. First of all, we've had lots of information coming in from code found within new versions of iOS. Last week we had some confirmation that there is going to be a plus model of the iPhone 9 and now we've got news of car key functionality. Apple's working with BMW to allow users to unlock their car with their phones in a new feature that they're calling car key. In the latest iOS 13.4.5, the car key code now mentions compatibility for Touch ID. Many people are saying that this confirms car key is going to be available for the iPhone 9, but it's not quite the case. It's it seems likely that it could be the reason it's added is for the iPhone 9, but let's not forget that the iPhone 12 could also have Touch ID. Last week, we also had a photo uploaded of an Urban Armor case for the iPhone 9. Now, the reason this case was special is because it was from a Best Buy employee, and according to the employee, they were advised that the iPhone 9 case was not to be showcased until the 5th of April, leading many to believe that this was the launch date of the upcoming iPhone 9. This information does, however, appear to be wrong after John Prosser announced a completely different date. There were so many stories about how the iPhone 9 was delayed and how factories producing Apple components had to be shut down, meaning we wouldn't see it for some time, but it turns out they may have been wrong. After the suspected launch date of the 31st of March was pushed back, many were speculating that we wouldn't see the device until the developer conference, but it may actually be much sooner. John Prosser advised that his source is now claiming the launch date is going to be the 15th of April, with the phone being available to buy from the 22nd. He seems pretty confident with the information he's providing, and his sources have been fairly accurate so far. Ming-Chi Kuo originally advised we'd be seeing the phone in the first half of 2020, and it looks like Apple are working hard to make sure this is the case. For those who want a new phone in the near future, then the Apple iPhone 9 is a great choice that's now not far away from launch. A leaked photo of the Apple iPhone 9 has appeared on Slash Leaks, but at the moment, the legitimacy of this photo is still unverified. We can see a glossy rear with a new camera and an LED flash just below. And while we can't get too much information from this, if it is real, we can of course confirm that there is a new camera, as it's not the same as we had on the iPhone 8. As with previous releases though, we can expect the iPhone 9 to be a single camera smartphone, and the iPhone 9 Plus should be a dual camera. When it comes to the iPhone 9, many are disappointed at its resemblance to the iPhone 8, and they're describing it as a cop-out in terms of release. While this is essentially the case, it's actually much more than that, and I think the iPhone 9 is a benefit to both Apple and their consumers. The iPhone 9 will cut costs by adopting a similar design to a previous model, but it's still going to contain the A13 Bionic chipset, so this allows Apple to deliver a true budget alternative to the high-end Apple phones without compromising on the performance. We've already had plenty of leaks surrounding the device, including the design, specification, and the pricing, so today we're going to cover it all. We need to remember that while it doesn't look like the latest iPhones, the iPhone 9 is incredibly cheap in comparison and a good choice for those that want a less expensive phone. Thanks to OnLeaks and iGeeks blog, we already have full 360 renders of the iPhone 9, and these were based on CAD data for the iPhone 9. For those who don't know, OnLeaks has been incredibly reliable lately, so there's little doubt that this is of course what the iPhone 9 is going to look like. The iPhone 9 is going to measure in at 138.5 by 67.4 by 7.8 millimeters, and if we include the camera bump on the rear, the thickness is 8.6. The iPhone 9 has thick bezels both above and below the display, and it of course looks the same as the iPhone 8. We get a 4.7 inch liquid retina display with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Now we need to remember that liquid retina is just an Apple marketing term and it's n and there's no meaning behind it so it's essentially just a 4.7 inch LCD display. We've got a dedicated home button on the front that will of course feature the Touch ID sensor but it's thought that it will not feature 3D face unlock. 
On the right hand edge we've got the power button with the alert slider on the left and we of course have a lightning port at the bottom. On the rear of the device we've got a frosted glass panel which does differentiate itself a little bit from the iPhone 8. We've got a single camera in the top left corner accompanied by an LED flash and we of course have the Apple logo central on the rear which again is slightly different to the iPhone 8. Now it's important to mention that this was based off the CAD info and it does look slightly different to the photo we've seen. Now it doesn't mean either one of these are fakes because when it comes to the CAD dimensions that's all they get is the dimensions, they don't get specific details. The iPhone 9 is going to be coming with the Apple A13 Bionic chipset which is the same chipset found in the latest models. The iPhone 9 is expected to come with 3 or 4 gigs of RAM and a choice of 64 or 128 storage and it will of course be shipping with iOS 13. It's reportedly going to come with a 2050 milliamp hour battery and this is going to include the usual features such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. Now while many may complain that the battery capacity is small, we need to remember that it is a small phone. It's marginally bigger than the iPhone 8 and of course contains the A13 chipset which means the iPhone 9 is going to be more efficient than the previous models. There's also a good chance that capacity will be slightly increased thanks to newer battery technologies. Ming-Chi Kuo estimated that the launch price of the iPhone 9 is going to be around $400 and many other sources agree with this. While many are going to slate the iPhone 9 for its outdated design and single camera, it's not really what this release is about. Especially in 2020, with iPhone prices being so high, releasing a budget phone like the iPhone 9 allows more people to purchase iPhones. While it doesn't look the most innovative and of course does not have the best display, it does have the latest chipset meaning the iPhone 9 is going to work with the latest software versions and it will be able to run all the latest apps without an issue. In using a body of a previous iPhone, they've saved a huge amount of money with production as well as research and development, meaning they can bring a phone to the consumers at a much cheaper cost. From Apple's point of view, the more people that have iPhones, the more money they can make in services and with the success of the more budget-friendly iPhone XR in the past, we can expect the iPhone 9 to perform just as well. When it comes to naming the phones, it seems like a very bad idea to call it the iPhone 9, but many believe that this is still going to be the case. I guess it does make sense as it's a budget model and if it was to be called the SE2, then the Plus model is going to become a little bit of a mouthful when you have to say the iPhone SE2 Plus. There are also rumours that it's just going to be called the iPhone, but again, this will just cause too much confusion. When it comes to the iPhone 9 Plus, we haven't had any solid leaks yet, but of course it will be similar to the predecessor, so new cameras and the A13 chipset. We've got no idea on prices at this moment in time, but as soon as we find anything out, I'll be letting you guys know. As we covered earlier, the Apple iPhone 9 was supposed to launch this month, but it didn't happen due to the delays. People are now reporting that the launch date could be at the end of April, but with so much conflicting information on the supply chain performance, we've got no way of confirming this right now. Of course, if any solid information comes to light, I'll be sharing with you guys as always, but I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Apple iPhone 9? Are you going to be getting the iPhone 9 or the iPhone 9 Plus? And if not, what phone are you waiting for? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.